Hello and welcome to a Board Gamer August channel update with the giveaway winner from July, the new giveaway for August, what we can expect from Star Citizen during August, and what's up with me and the channel as a whole. Let's start with the giveaway stuff. July had my radar donating an 890 jump. The winner of this is Amir Azif. I'm sorry if I said that incorrectly. Congratulations to yourself and a massive thank you to my radar. I am planning to talk about my radar and its integration with Star Citizen in a bit more detail soon. I want to interview them, uh, talk to them a bit. Uh, August sees Game Glass providing some prizes. They are giving away a Drake Corsair as well as an 8 inch. Fire tablet with stand and 12 months of Game Glass to one of my lucky viewers and commenters of one of my videos. Game Glass make software that allow you to turn touchscreen devices like tablets and mobiles into immersive controllers for Star Citizen. But it's not just Star Citizen, that's just the current focus. It's going to be lots of games with Elite Dangerous and Next. There's a free flavor of this, but also a subscription service, or you can actually just buy individual components and additions and attach them on to your Game Glass experience. For example, you can get some additional functionality for Star Citizen Mining. The service is going to be constantly improved and support more ergonomic gameplay as well in the future. In fact, that's one of the joys of this. It's very much a uh, product that's going to keep on getting iteration and improvements. You can find out more info and download Game Glass below in the link. You can also use the code Board Gamer to get discount if you decide to subscribe or buy. We currently have 3.6.1 on the PTU, which is moving towards a live build. This is mainly just for bug fixes and quality of life. It's a mini patch and should make 3.6 a good bit more playable. There is also a good possibility that the 3.6.x um, interim patch with the 890 jump and ship rentals will be out at some um, stage in some state during August as well. The next major patch is going to be 3.7, which we're expecting at the end of September. Inside Star Citizen should start showing off more information on that patch, and we should see a bit of a rework to the roadmap with a more accurate forecast for 3.7, as well as 4.0, the Q2 2020 patch, being added to the roadmap at some point this month as well, hopefully anyway. We do know there is an Aegis-style concierge event on the 24th of August. It's expected that a new concept sale for potentially a capital ship will be announced or go live around then too, with attendees getting early access. I thought people might like a little update on my mental health and diet. I went to the doctor a few weeks ago. I thought I might be pre-diabetic, but I just have high cholesterol, it seems. So I've been dieting, though I've had a couple of days where I've sort of mega binged. But overall, I've had quite a bit of uh, weight loss and have started to... Um, grow the beginnings of a mighty beard, so I'm doing pretty well physically. In regard to general mental health, I'm sort of a mixture of tired and grumpy, at least more recently, but otherwise pretty good. July was reasonably lazy for me, to be honest, hoping I have a bit more focus uh, this month, to be honest. I'm taking a couple of weekends off this month to visit friends and get out of the house. Content-wise, it might mean, like, maybe two less videos in August than I would have otherwise made, so hardly any disruption. It is confirmed that I'm going to be going to CitizenCon 2019. That's going to be uh, on the 22nd of November. I'm going a day early. So if anyone's about, I'll be in a pub or bar somewhere. Uh, I'm waiting to see if CIG announce anything official bar citizen-wise going on the day before, which I suspect they will. Uh, I literally just got a new GeForce 2080 Ti, put it in a few hours ago. I've gone for the Azorus Extreme version of the 2080 Ti. Um, Aurus, 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 the Gigabyte, the Gigabyte gaming version. And people donated a lot of money. Um, so, as I'm a Gigabyte fanboy, and it's one of the best 2080 TIs I could find, I went for that one. This should make for some better B roll for me when I record, and potentially quicker turnaround of videos, and potentially higher bit rates uh, for streams, even. So, I should just have higher quality of video on the channel. Maybe even some 4K stuff now, too. I'm planning to get a new Ryzen Threadripper if they come out in October. Um, so, sort of stay tuned for that if you're interested. Uh, but it seems to be pretty, pretty slick for Star Citizen. It isn't really going to improve my frame rate too much in game. It, it's more sort of like I wanted it for its encoding chip and a bit of future proofing, I suppose. So the NVEC encoder chip, which I would use to um, record using programs like OBS or whatever, um, is significantly better on the 20 series of cards um, than the 10 series. I was on a 1080 Ti before. Um, so also it's going to be significantly better for 4K and 
potentially even 40, 40p. So we'll have to wait and see. I'll, I'll do some tests. Uh, I'm still planning to employ Zinya full time as an editor for the channel to help me uh, make better content as well. There have been delays with this, but later this month, I literally am sitting down with her to discuss contracts and wages in more detail, and then working out exactly when's a good time for her to start. It will be the biggest change and improvement to the channel since I decided to cover Star Citizen, and I'm hoping that it will be um, pretty good. It should allow me a lot more time to make more videos, to stream a lot more as well, get better B-roll, get better content, get some uh, up new content, potentially do some other um, non-Star Citizen related stuff on other channels if um, there's spare time. I want to say a massive thank you to all the support I received during July from YouTube members, Patreons, donors, um, with AG, Robert Johnston, Kat, uh, Raz, Gear Khan, Aventador, Dalamars, and Andy Green being my favourite people who threw far too much money at me. You guys are truly amazing. Thank you so much. There are new YouTube membership options for those of you that want to go to the extra mile, and there's also Patreon and, and all the other ways already, but... I'm putting up some more regular exclusive content for all my VIPs, patrons, and channel members. Started doing that in the last few weeks. There's going to be vlogs, bloopers, and other content as well. Seriously, though, the feedback, liking, sharing, commenting on any of my videos genuinely does really help me. Ding in that bell. I don't know whatever other YouTubers say. Like and subscribe. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. I just, yeah, the, the feedback and um, uh, uh, that really genuinely helps. It helps guide the channel in what videos I'll do next and what people want to see and um, am I showing the stuff that people want and have I missed something, that sort of stuff. Because I, I do a lot of research on Star Citizen and I play it reasonably regularly, but there's a, a load of stuff I still don't know, exact metas for certain things. I'm certainly not a pro pilot compared to a lot of people and there are lots of little hidden bits and bobs and there are bugs and things that I haven't seen. I can only talk about my gameplay experiences directly when I'm talking about certain patches and uh, PTUs and patch dates and stuff like that. So uh, the, the more feedback I get and the more sort of comments that uh, people share with me, the better for the channel and understanding what is going on with the game. So genuinely, thank you for anyone that's commented and um, good luck in the giveaways. And uh, yeah, thanks very much. I hope you join me for some streams um, during the week. I do regularly stream now on Mondays and Fridays. At least that's um, what I'm doing at the moment. I'm planning to expand that out a bit. Uh, typically, I will stream somewhere between 2 p.m. and like 6 p.m. UTC, somewhere around that, in that window, uh, for at least a couple of hours. I'll try to schedule it out a little bit more accurately in the future uh, and maybe move it a bit around. Uh, I've also got a GoPro camera, which I'm planning to potentially even this weekend test it out. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be Periscope. Maybe it will be Periscope that I'll use. So I need to get it up to my phone and tether it and, and then see if it works. Um, I'm planning to use this at sort of like CitizenCon as well so I can do some live streaming directly from there. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be just watching Star Citizen um, uh, live from, the, from their uh, Twitch channel or whatever. But uh, we'll, get some, we'll get some footage there uh, with this GoPro and hopefully some interviews and do some live streaming potentially. Uh, that sort of stuff as well but uh any other suggestions you've got the channel check them in the comments below as well love you guys thank you very much for watching and uh you take care hopefully i will see you in the verse i can't remember if i actually mentioned the board game org stuff uh because i'm literally working off bullet points here so there's a board game org which is a social org but i'm using it to grab b-roll um, footage and mess around uh, during the days when i'm online and need to get b-roll so in the short term i'm going to be grabbing people that are around in the org or are on my discord uh, to help me make b-roll footage when i'm around uh, so i'm looking for some people to help organize more constant activity for the org um, with events and help with events and help organize people poke me on it discord if you are interested um, to, to being part of that and want to help organize people and uh, be active on, on my discord and, and chat to people there. that would be super super helpful thanks very much